My name is Akane Nurus, and I'm a 25-year-old employee at Nanakuma Pharmaceuticals. Hey, Akane! Did you hear about the new hire we're getting next month? At uh, this time of year? Yeah, he's apparently changing from another industry. And this is Erica Kino. She's been working in the same department longer than I have. I wonder what he's like. I heard from the boss that he's a young guy and I'm gonna be the one in charge of his training. I hope he's hot. <laughs> Just remember that his looks don't have anything to do with performance. What are you talking about? If we're working together with a hottie, it'll make the whole office more productive. Erica's super friendly and good-natured, but sometimes she'd go gaga over some hot guy or another. It made me a bit uncomfortable sometimes. I'm Nagasa Izumi. Nice to meet you. The new employee, Nagisa, seemed like a hard worker, but gave off slight antisocial vibes. Ugh, this sucks. She doesn't have to make such an obviously disappointed face. Just when I was starting to feel nervous about her attitude. What? You want me to take over Nagisa's training? Uh-huh, you can do it, right? I can't believe Erica's so disappointed with the way Nagisa looks that she would ask me to take over her job. Maybe if you were just a bit more handsome, I'd be more motivated. But come on, he looks like such a loser, right? And I feel like I could barely even hold a conversation with him. Huh? Thanks, Akane, you're the best. It's really horrible to change your attitude towards someone just because of how they look, is what I would have said if I had any courage to talk back. Now, if I just spin my wheels worrying about this, I'll never get anywhere. This isn't Nagisa's fault. As the one in charge of his training, I have to do everything I can to make sure he learns the ins and outs of the job. After pumping myself up, I gathered up the strength to talk to him. Hey there, Nagisa. I'm Akane Narus, and I'll be in charge of your training. If there's anything you need, just ask me, okay? It's fine. Don't worry about me. Hey, he really is hard to talk to. I was a bit thrown off by his blunt attitude, but I figured that maybe he was just nervous with the new job. So I did my best to approach him as much as I could. Good morning, Nagisa. Good morning. You're here bright and early today. The company's close to my house. Really? Hey, Nagisa. How's it going? The materials for the meeting today should be in this file here. Oh, that's okay. Someone else already told me. I... I don't know how to continue the conversation. Every time I talked to him, it always ended the same way. I was beginning to lose heart. How can I get him to open up? Now that I think about it, it's almost that time of year, huh? It's Nagisa's first time, so I should probably let him know in advance. Training trip? Yeah, we do it every fall, but that's usually plenty of time for the new graduates who join in spring to get used to things, right? It's kind of like an event for everyone in the company to learn more about the job and deepen their bonds of friendship and... It, is everything okay? Sorry, I've always been nervous about company trips and things like that. I'm really not looking forward to this. Don't worry, I'll be right there with you. I'm happy to help, so just tell me if you ever need anything, okay? 
We can go together. We're a team, you know? I don't know if I'd go that far. But, yeah. If I need anything, I'll let you know. Whoa, this is great. It feels so nice to know that someone relies on you. Wait, we don't have time to stand around. Come on, we have to hurry and get to the meeting. Oh, Kane. Huh? Oh, God! I was about to tell you it was dangerous to run down the stairs. So sorry, and thanks. Jeez, that was too close. Be more careful next time. I will. He's so right. I don't even know what to say. Huh? What? What? Sorry, I thought you were upset at me. I didn't expect this. Well, I'm not. I'm a really shy person in general. When I saw you were gonna fall, I instinctively reached out to grab you. But just talking face to face with people is tough for me. I don't really know what to do about it. I guess he may look unfriendly on the outside, but he's just a little bit awkward, that's all. He actually seems like a sweetheart on the inside. <laughs> Kane? Sorry, I was thinking that I got to see a side of you most people don't know. I'm really glad you don't hate me. I'm really sorry I gave you the wrong impression. I could never think of hating someone who was so passionate about showing me around the job. Yeah, thank you. Oh, and my name. What about it? Oh, the nickname? Sorry, it seemed like it was easier to say it that way. Though it kind of slipped out. I can stop if you don't like it. No, no, it's fine. In fact, I feel like it brings us even closer together. Yeah? So, can I call you Nagi then? I guess I don't mind. I felt like we finally had a real conversation there. I was so relieved. Some time passed after that, and it was soon the day of the training trip. After a fun dinner, we made our way to the inn to check in to our accommodations. What? What do you mean there's no rooms available? I guess there was a bit of a mistake when we booked and you two accidentally got put in the same room. How could something like that happen now of all times? I guess you two are just gonna have to deal with that yourselves. Hey. We're sharing a room? Yeah, I'm really sorry about this. Let me see if there's any other hotels around here. You can stay here. Y you don't have to do that. I felt so bad for making Nagisa have to deal with something like this on his first trip. It's just one night, right? I don't mind sharing the room if you're okay with it. But, um... Well, as long as you don't have a problem, I guess it's okay. It's not like anything is gonna happen, right? It'd be rude to Nagi for me to push any of my weird feelings onto him. That's what I figured, anyway. Okay, um... Huh, this is more awkward than I thought. Kane? Oh, right! I was gonna go and buy some drinks. I'll probably go and use the bath on the way, so I'll be a bit late. I can't believe I just ran away. Now he's gotta know I'm overthinking all this for sure. But it's barely 8 p.m. If I go back now, I don't feel like I'll be able to keep my composure until tomorrow morning. 
Okay, first things first, I'll hit the hot spring. Then maybe I'll kill some time at the lounge. I didn't have the courage to face Nagi alone, so I decided to wait it out away from the room. It's starting to get late. I should probably go back. Besides, we're on vacation, right? We gotta enjoy it. This is a chance to talk about stuff we normally can't at work and deepen our bonds. Sorry about that. I was out longer than I... Who are you? Uh, sorry, I think I'm in the wrong room. No, you're good. It doesn't seem good to me. I gotta get out of here. Ah, oh, that was my one escape route. Where were you planning on going? I... I don't... I got really worried when you didn't come back. You weren't answering your phone either. I... uh-huh. Nagi? Is that you? Huh? Who else would I be? Uh, phew. I thought some stranger was about to do something horrible to me. God, that's embarrassing. Sorry for worrying you. I guess I spent longer at the lounge than I thought. Were you drinking? Yeah, wanna share a beer with me in the room? We don't get to do this at work after all. I guess it couldn't hurt. Are you getting used to the job? Yeah, I think so. You know, I'm not so good at communicating with people. Though my last job, I never felt like I fit in. I could tell people were giving me funny looks and stuff. But now, you always come up and talk to me. I feel like you kind of saved me or something like that. It was super embarrassing hearing him spill his heart out to me like that. But it made me so happy to know he felt that way. Yeah, I'm glad I could help. I've never seen you without your glasses and that thick suit before. It's kind of a shame that you hide these good looks from everyone. Do you like me better like this? Hmm, I can't choose. I like how serious you look in the office, but I'm not gonna lie that you're kinda hot like this too. How can she say that about a hint of shame? She must be pretty drunk. Well, I know she must be uncomfortable sharing a room with me. I bet she's tired after everything that happened today. It's getting pretty late. Maybe we should call it a night. <sighs> Aren't you being a little bit too uncautious? Even bringing alcohol back to share in the room. Do you really not think anything of me at all? I'm a guy too, you know. That kind of hurts. If I were a bit more unscrupulous, I could be having my way with you right now. <sighs> hmm. Sweet dreams, Kane. Ah! Uh, a dream? Kane? Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, it's all fine. How am I supposed to tell him that I had a dream he kissed me? He'd be so creeped out. But even though we stayed the night in the same room, Nagi was the same as always. I guess I was the only one wondering if something would happen. That's kind of a shame. Wait, you're gonna go out looking like that? Yeah, is it weird? Uh, no. Truthfully, he's so hot that I can't even calm down though. On the second day of the trip. 
Oh my god, is that Nagisa? No way, I had no idea he was secretly such a hottie. Should we go and talk to him? Nagi was showered with unprecedented attention. Hey, Kane. Will you spend the day with me today? Me? You said we were a team, right? I guess I did say that. Ugh, everyone's stares are painful. But I promised. Uh-huh. We're a team, all right. Great! It, it's so bright, but my heart feels so healed when he smiles like this. The trip went pretty much as planned for the rest of the day, except... Hey, Akane! Can we talk for a second? Sure, sure. what's up? I need you to let me be Nagisa's trainer! Please? Excuse me? I think it must have been love at first sight! What's she talking about? I never would have guessed a four-eyed loser like that was actually hiding the face of a god! I was supposed to be in charge of his training anyway, so I'm sure you don't mind, right? I guess it was true that I initially took over Nagi's training in Erica's place. But she was really making fun of him behind his back that first day. And now she was completely flip-flopping just because she saw underneath his mask a bit. I think it's really horrible to change your attitude towards someone just because of how they look. What? How do you think he feels about this? Don't just string him along to suit your preferences. Do you realize how selfish you're being? Excuse me? Are you kidding me? Oh, I see how it is. You saw how hot he is and now you want him all for yourself. Is that it? I can't do this. And first of all, you think you can talk back to someone who's been here longer than you like that? I ought to teach you a lesson. Nagi. Wh why are you protecting this loser, Nagi? Think I'm going to stand back and watch you hurt the person I love? What did you say? Ugh! I overheard you two fighting about changing the one in charge of my training. But the last thing I want is to learn from anyone who talks about me behind my back. And then turns around and tries to cozy up to me the second they learn what I really look like. No way! Why would you say that? But Nagi, I really do want to get to know you. Oh yeah, could you stop calling me that? We're just co-workers. I don't let people who are close to me use that nickname. Ugh, you don't have to go that far. Kane, are you okay? I'm fine. Thanks for coming to help me. About what you said earlier, do you really love me? Of course! How could I not? You're cheerful, you're the nicest person I've ever known, and you're always looking out for people. I've had a crush on you since the moment we met. I was pretty surprised to hear him confess his feelings like that, but hearing it made me feel extremely warm and fuzzy inside. Would you go out with me? Actually, I haven't been able to look away from you this entire trip either. I couldn't put a feeling on exactly why, but I think it must have been love this entire time. Then... If you're willing to go out with me, then I'd be happy to be your partner. I'm more than willing. And just like that, the two of us were a couple. 
But there was one more elephant in the room. You dreamt I kissed you? <laughs> yeah, but I was so embarrassed. I couldn't bring myself to tell you this morning. Oh, that, uh, wasn't a dream. Huh? Sorry. You just looked so peaceful while you were asleep that I couldn't help it. It wasn't on your lips, though. It was only on your forehead. He actually did kiss me? I'm so embarrassed. Wait, more than that. Th that's not okay. Don't kiss people in their sleep without permission. You're lucky we both had feelings for each other, but still... Sorry, but I couldn't hold back anymore. This is how I wanted to kiss you back then. That face isn't fair. I didn't care that he was leading me around by the nose. Being able to go out with the person I loved more than anything made me happier than I'd ever been in my life. A few days after the trip ended, Erica came up to me to apologize for what happened. Some other coworkers apparently also witnessed the fight we had, and after some talks with management about appropriate work conduct, Erica came to the conclusion that it would be best for her to seek employment elsewhere, and as for me and Nagi, how do I look? Like an angel. <laughs> Thanks. Three years later, the two of us met at the altar. Will the bride and groom please make their way to the hall? Coming! Kane. Yeah? I'll make you the happiest person in the world. Yeah, I know we'll always be there for each other. Thanks to our training trip, we ended up dating and now we're finally about to take the next step forward and become husband and wife. No matter what happens, we'll walk the long and winding road to happiness together. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video! If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos! See you all next time!